Well, we are just a few hours now from the first Democratic presidential debate. Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Martin O'Malley, Jim Webb, and Lincoln Chafee all taking part. So far, it doesn't sound like Vice President Joe Biden will be on the stage in Las Vegas, but CNN is keeping an open podium for him just in case. Here are the rules the candidates have to follow tonight. They can't bring any cell phones in. They can't bring tablets or notes to the stage. They'll be given a pad of paper and a pen, and they will each have one minute to answer any direct question. 30 seconds for a rebuttal. Our political analyst, John Keller, has been looking forward to this one. So what are you looking for specifically tonight? Well, definitely not infotainment to compare with yeah. the two Republican debates. There is no apparent Democratic Donald Trump surrogate, although you never know. One might emerge. That's what these debates are all about. But there are three significant political developments that I will be watching for in all seriousness here. Hillary Clinton has seen her approval ratings melt in the campaign heat, but tonight's a chance to reintroduce herself to millions of voters. No problem, right? All she has to do is be both calm and passionate while being both forceful and above the fray, conveying lofty vision while proving herself down to earth. It's a piece of cake. Secretary Clinton will also have to respond to the strategy of Bernie Sanders, who's giving her fits in Iowa and New Hampshire. Will he go hot with direct engagement of Hillary or stay cool in an effort to prove a Democratic Socialist can be presidential? An ounce of humor from either Sanders or Clinton would be worth a pound of rhetoric tonight. And then there are the three other guys. Who on earth are they? two former governors and a former senator, none of whom have left a footprint in the sand yet. Now, tonight's their big chance, and my money's on former Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee to force at least one good YouTube clip. Now, keep in mind, thanks to Clinton's friends at the Democratic National Committee, there are no other weeknight debates before the New Hampshire primary leases, so this may be the last big TV audience they can grab before then. And then there's the elephant that isn't in the room, Joe Biden. You don't think there's some 11th hour ex moment where he comes out and says, I'm going to be in this? Well, I know that Christmas shopping has even started in some places, but I don't see a scenario in which a sleigh carrying Vice President Biden hovers over the Wynn Hotel in Vegas and then descends on the roof just before debate time. It could happen, but I doubt it. All right, we'll see. Thank you, John. Look forward to your commentary today. Kind of hot for Santa this time. Right, I can tell. Okay, <laughs> thanks. John Lee